I'll be honest, folks. I don't understand why he's being charged. It's as if he did this on purpose. It was clearly a mistake. Um, procedures probably weren't correctly handled. I mean, at most, maybe a fine. That's what you'd expect. You know, this is like, you know, people die it at work often because of mistakes. Um, the question is, is has there been a breach of health and safety or whatever it's called in America? Um, you know, that's usually when people are prosecuted. It's when real serious things have been overlooked. So, for instance, say, um, you know, somebody dies in a factory and it turns out that the safety gear isn't there or something, or someone falls in a skip or something. You know, sometimes accidents happen at work, unfortunately. There's very little... You know, in all the best will at work world, you can avoid. I mean, film sets are notoriously dangerous. I mean, for instance, you know, you've got people who are, you know, stunt people. They, it's not uncommon for people who do stunts to be injured or even killed. I believe, my understanding, I might be wrong on that. Now, clearly, I don't think in a million years this was expi- I mean, do you really think that Alex Baldwin shot somebody knowing it was life? Of course not. It was just a mistake. It's a sad mistake. Um, I mean, obviously, the hoo-ha is that this guy's left winger and probably anti-gun or something. But, you know, because that's usually what the impression of left-wing people are. But I don't think, you know, I don't think this guy needs should be punished. Because I don't think, you know... The most you could say is he hasn't correctly followed procedures or his firm hasn't or whatever. But mistakes happen. Um, I'm not even sure he even loaded the gun. I mean, it's just... It's sad what's happened. And perhaps the film firm should... I don't know if they have had to compensate or not, but I, I don't see... I mean, in the UK, there's a sort of... Or used to be. It doesn't seem to be applied now, but there's a sub principle where it's supposed to be, and I say supposed to be, you prosecute if it's in the public interest. Um, I mean, these days, people seem to be prosecuted regardless of it being in public interest. It seems to be more making political points in the UK when people are prosecuted. But anyway, I don't know if they have the same system in America, but I just don't see any point. What is it going to achieve you know, giving this guy a criminal record or even send him to prison. What is the point? He hasn't done anything on purpose by all accounts. I just don't see... I mean, I honestly find this bizarre. What, what is the point? What are you going to achieve? It just seems to be an expensive process for nothing. Ugh. Honestly, I, I honestly... I don't understand why is this carrying on. Why are people wasting... To me, it's just a waste of time and money when there's, you know, things... Real crimes going on. I mean, this is a country where there seems to be states where people are just walking in, robbing shops and walking out freely. That's on purpose. This guy clearly hasn't done it on purpose. Um, I mean, you know... <sighs> It seems rather backward, crazy system at the moment in both England and America where it turns to crime. Well, worldwide, it seems to be people are just being punished because it's to please the mob. We're going back towards... It, at the moment, it feels like we're turning back to the witchcraft times or, um, you know, French Revolution where we're just dragging people out, killing them because it makes us feel better. On the basis, we oh, we want that person punished. Let's just punish them. Not because they've done anything wrong or anything. Just because we want to feel good about ourselves. It makes us, gives us some pleasure. That's what this seems to be about. Just giving people pleasure. People are going, let's punish this guy. Because it makes us, feel, you know, that we're getting a pleasure from it. It's, it's bizarre. These are really dark times we're in. I mean, I, I think we're in some of the most... I think in future times, people are going to look back and say 2000 and, you know, 2020 onwards was a very dark era full of, you know, left-wing socialists who were 
bringing in Nazi style. I mean, they'll be viewed as Nazis in years to come. That's what these people will be viewed as good people. And, you know, the way we seem to be prosecuting people for what seems to be to please the crowd is dark. It's a dark era. I mean, it actually, I don't like living in this era at the moment. It's so dark. It makes me nervous. It makes me nervous how further things will go. Because we're in a dark era. Anyway. We'll see. <laughs>